These are the new Beats Studio Pros, and it feels like Beats is ready to take on Bose, Sony, and even Apple. Now the question is, how do they hold up against the competition? You are now in the presence of a... Now, if I were to ask you, what's the most iconic headphone of all history? You'd probably tell me the design of the Beats Studio Pro, and that's why Beats hasn't changed the design of the Beats Studio Pros. In 15 years, the Beats Studio is basically what Beats says. You don't f up an icon. If it ain't broke, then don't change it. These headphones are beautiful. They're an icon. They feel great. They're extremely lightweight. They are super flexible. It just feels good. Now, they might not feel as premium as Apple's AirPods Max, but I kind of like that because the AirPods Max for traveling specifically for long periods of time, they get so heavy because of the materials that they're actually made out of. But the Beats Studio Pros, they just feel so lightweight that you kind of forget that you're wearing them. They've changed up the design on the top since there is no Beats branding anymore. All the branding goes in the left ear cup where you'll see Beats Studio Pro designed in LA. These Beats Studio Pro come in four gorgeous new colors, sandstone, deep brown, navy, and matte black. Beats has totally re-engineered the actual ear cups. They call this a technology called Ultra Plus Comfort. What it basically means, they use these ear cushions with this memory foam that is just so satisfying to actually put on and it's not tight at all. They just feel so comfortable in your ear and for traveling, I can imagine on how comfortable they have to be. Just thinking about the fact that they are so lightweight, so foldable and the cushions are so comfortable to use, they make it such an easy recommendation for all you travelers. Something that the Beats Studio Pros don't have is automatic head detection. So on my AirPods, for example, if I get rid of my AirPods out of my ear, the music stops. With these, they just keep on going, which is kind of a loss for battery life. If we take a look at the bottom of the design, you get a USB-C port, which enables USB-C listening, which actually supports lossless audio, which is amazing. You get a headphone jack, which is ideal for traveling, so you can just simply put it in in the actual display board. The Beats logo is actually a button, so if you tap, you can play a song. If you double tap, you skip a song, as always. There's also buttons to turn down or turn up your volume. This is the new case that it actually comes with, and it's made out of this like semi-rigid um, material, which is great for traveling. You've, can, you've also got like this tiny pouch to pin in um, cables with. I kind of really like it a lot because once again, it's not like this hard material, which is, you know, sturdy, but it's kind of a mix of both worlds. I I like the case a lot. Now probably the magic of these headphones is how native the ecosystem features are, not only to iOS but to Android. In iOS we've got instant pairing just like the AirPods and we've also got iCloud pairing. So as soon as you connect your Beats to your iPhone they will automatically be connected to your Mac, to your iPad and even to your Apple TV. You've also got hands-free Siri so you can ask Siri whatever just by saying hey Siri in the street and you can ask Siri for the weather, for a recent sports game or even to play a certain song. You've also got Find My connectivity. So just like an AirTag, your beats will appear inside of the Find My app. So if you lose them somewhere, you'll know where to get them. And even if you lose them inside of your home, you'll actually be able to play a certain sound in order to find them. You've also got customization inside of your iPhone settings in order to turn on transparency mode, or you can change the name, or you can even turn on personal spatial audio, which we're gonna talk about in just a second. Now, previous generations of Beats, they were running on the W2 chip, which allowed native Apple ecosystem features with Beats, but that let the Android users hanging. But now with the Beats Studio Pros, Beats has actually developed their own custom Beats chip which allows native Apple ecosystem features and Android ecosystem features. This is probably the first time that it has ever happened. Native ecosystem features on both platforms. You've got instant pairing as well, automatic audio switching within your devices, Find My devices, you've got Google Find My, you've got different listening modes and battery life widgets and a bunch more on Android. So what's probably most important to you for buying a new pair of headphones is the sound quality. The new Beats Studio Pros have a brand new 40 millimeter drivers. Now I'm gonna say that the sound quality on the AirPods Max is way much more superior. 
I feel like the AirPods Max separates instruments better. And I feel like the Beat Studio Pros merges instrument together. Now, thanks to spatial audio, which we're gonna talk about in just a second, it helps it, you know, diverse that a little bit more. The audio can get a little bit muddy in certain occasions, but it certainly doesn't distort at all since it's actually got distort reduction. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm being very critical here and I'm comparing them to Apple's AirPods Max, which cost almost double than the Beat Studio Pros. The bass is heavy, they sound great, and it basically has like this vivid filter on which makes any sound sound really great. And not only do they support spatial audio on Apple Music, but they also support personalized spatial audio, which basically uses the gyroscope on your iPhone to give you a super personalized spatial audio experience. It sounds amazing. It's what we have on the AirPods Max, on the AirPods Pro, and it sounds so freaking good. Beat Studio Pros also have noise cancellation and transparency mode. Noise cancellation is superb. You will not hear almost any thing out in the streets, out in the library, in a cafe, or even at the airplane. If you want a pair of noise cancellation that are top tier, well, these are probably your headphones. Now, in terms of transparency mode, if we compare them against the AirPods Max, which are the kings of transparency mode, um, with the AirPods Max, for example, when you put the AirPods Max on and off, you don't really feel the difference. It's that good. But the Beat Studio Pros, you do feel the difference. With these, with now me transparency mode on, I still feel like I've got headphones on. I still feel like an audio is, you know, it, it doesn't feel as accurate as, you know, me not wearing anything. So I'm, I wouldn't say that transparency mode on the Beat Studio Pros are bad, but I wouldn't also say that they're excellent. If we talk about the battery life, we get 40 hours of listening time, which is half the listening time as we get on the AirPods Max. So in terms of battery life, these will last you. I mean, they're great. As I said, they're great for traveling. If you want to get these for traveling, I'm probably going to make a separate video talking about the Beat Studio Pros for traveling because they might be the new traveling kings right next to the Sony XM5. Something else that you have to consider is that they are not water resistant. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, Beats doesn't have a proper water resistance rating. So, I mean, if you go to the gym and you sweat with them, they're probably going to be fine. But in the website, it doesn't say anything about water resistance. So there is no water resistance on the Beats Studio Pros. If it rains, they should be fine, but you get what I'm saying. There's also nothing really special about the Beats Studio Pro apart from spatial audio. The Sony XM5s, I love the fact that you can just simply cover your ear and transparency mode will automatically go on. Or for me, what's special about the AirPods Max is the premium design. In terms of the Beats Studio Pros, I really wish Beats would have added a special feature about them, something that would make you go like, huh, I want that. For the Sony XM5s, it's this, something, something that just would have made us go like, I want those. Now, don't get me wrong, they are an excellent piece of headphones. And when people told me, well, you know, the Beats sound quality is kind of meh, well, that's kind of the thing of the past. These sound great. These look great. They've got native features to iOS and to Android. Tell me a pair of headphones that has all of that on a price tag of $350. Go ahead and tell me in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to know how's my experience with the AirPods Max for traveling, you can tap this video right here or my review on the Sony XM5s. I'm going to go listen to music on these beautiful, iconic pair of headphones.